All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. As you can tell, we're sitting in the FD. Danny's alive. If you've been watching the channel Stop for years, that. if you've been watching the channel for years, you remember my brother Danny. We went to college together. He's been in a ton of vlogs way in the past. He moved to China. He recently got back. So, Danny, welcome back. Welcome back hey. to today's video. As you can tell by the title, uh, I don't know any specifics yet, but Hunter from West Coast Exotics says they have a repeat client that has a repeat ridiculous offer on my FD. I don't know what it is yet. So we're driving it today. There's not really much that can make me sell this car, but I'm gonna humor it. We're gonna go up to West Coast Exotics, see what they have to say. And we have a few little secrets up our sleeve on the way up. So let's get going. So the last time we were here, they were just moving into their new dealership. It's, I think, just about done. They just repainted the whole entire thing. I don't really remember where it is, so I, I think it's coming up here on the right. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for it, but I think they just painted it like bright red or gray, so it shouldn't be too hard to miss. Woo! The last time we were here, if you guys have seen those vlogs, the showroom was still in construction. They were still like fixing a bunch of stuff. The place is still in construction. This place is massive. It's like 75,000 square foot. It's the world's largest exotic dealership ever. Is it the world's largest? Um, I believe one of the largest in the United States. I have to check in the whole world. I can't Large find in the world. Ship that's, okay, back in TJ. Largest in the world. I'm gonna go through out the cars and show you a few of my favorites, but just look at this showroom. Like, this is bigger than most dealerships I've ever even gone to, and this is just the showroom just floor of the cars. Absolutely bonkers. So there's a bunch of different like subsections and stuff around this place. This is gonna be like a bar or bar, something. A bar in the kitchen and everything. So wow. back here. Like oh. just industrial type tile, but the, the poop office. room. What happened? It's the poop room. No, that's the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was a bathroom. <laughs> I, I just, just, I don't know. I assumed it was a bathroom. <laughs> here's the poop room. Oh, here's the poop room. Okay, that makes a little more oh, sense. Oh, this. Whoa. So this is the like office. Showroom inside office, so when you do your financing on your million dollar car, you just oops, you can sit here, you can stare at the floor, you can see yourself. And then just in case you get like, you look know. at look at Danny down there. <laughs> get a little, you know, dirty. Oh my gosh! Look at this. What? Why? He just works so much. He needs a he needs a shower in his office. I do. You d what? That's awesome, dude. That's actually super cool. Now all you need is a little gym set up over there and you never have to leave. Dang. Okay, so <laughs> this car is still here. It's here because there were a lot of things that needed to get fixed or a lot of paint chips. Alex broke the front splitter. Alex the just destroyed a bunch of stuff. The front bumper has been repainted. The lips been fixed. The side skirts have been repainted. The rear bumper has been repainted. And they took the wing off, which I actually kind of like this wing a lot better. The, the double decker voice shadow ring was a little much. It looks a lot better now. Is this car for sale yet? It is. It's finally, you haven't posted that it's listed yet, but. Soon, but oh. it's available right now if you guys want to buy it. My god. If anyone wants the coolest Aventador ever, I'm buying another Aventador. It, it's happening. And when I see this, well, dude, this was still like. Yeah, I know. This was. <laughs> ah, man, wow, I missed this car. This is the move. <sighs> Someone come take my baby, please. All right, Danny, which one are you taking home? This ain't my style. Oh, please. Have you, show, have you seen the inside of that? Uh, Which one? Range Rover there before? The, the, the limo Range Rover? Have you seen inside of that? No. Are they open? Yeah, I just opened it. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Let's get a look. Let me get, let me get a Jeez. peek. Oh, it's for me. Ooh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Limo style? I'm assuming you oh, can... Oh, it smells bad. Look at this. Here. There's a TV right here. Huh. Wow. Yeah, you, you can drive. I mean, you, you can you can drink alcohol in the back of this. Yeah, because the front seat's completely closed off from the, the rest. Yeah, dude. Is that a TV? I'm assuming. Yeah, of course. That will go down to TV. This is your nav system to change all the ah, yeah. all the things, the bits. Not a bad way. The double decker roof is what's really cool. The double decker like sky roof, double decker. I guess the the two times that thing is sick. <laughs> okay, we're trading in the Mercedes for the Rhino now. Hey, you wanna hop in there? I'll shoot a couple rounds of 5.56 five, through the door. Oh, brother, your FFAR couldn't take me out if you want. 
<laughs> look, dude, just look at the window styling. That's what like kind of makes it look even more like robust. Hey, dude, check that out. You can oh even sit God. in the yeah. back, and I'm I'm like elevated. Oh, and it's bougie inside. Dude, oh. you have another moonroof. You got an extra row, and you got a. My, my, my whiskey on the rocks. You know I had to pull the FD in for a couple quick photos with the Aventador in the back. What a throwback. Literally makes me want to get an, that Aventador back. I'm not going to, it's a bad decision, but I do miss it greatly. Absolutely nutty. Should we talk about the whole offer on the FD? Like, Would you consider selling it? Because I have a client that'll pay I, 125 grand for it. 125 G's. I mean, like, he he started lower, but I told him that you wouldn't sell it for anything less than 150 realistically. 125 like, grand. Wire ready today. I get a lot of offers on this car. Like, all that's probably, like, I don't really talk about this too much in videos. Probably, like, a couple times a month, I get random emails from random people that are like, hey, I'm really interested in your FD. What would it take for you to buy it? Yeah, I know. And I've called me, too. <laughs> and I'll be the same thing. I've never really, I've always given out pretty high numbers. 125. 125 USD real offer today. He will send the wire. He's bought tons of cars for me too. So it's not like a it's not like somebody like, oh yeah, I'll I'll pay 125. It's like a real 125 watches your videos and saw the build and wants the car. I don't know. That's the most anyone's ever offered me. I've thrown out like ridiculous numbers before, but I've never been actually offered 125 k I just didn't think you'd sell it. You tell me. Let me know. Damn. Go towards the event door. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, oh, oh, oh no. I don't. I don't think. I don't think I can do it. Let's just build another one. <laughs> I, I thought about that because I was like, what if I just sold this one and did like a three rotor or a four rotor? I mean, because just the cost of a three rotor or a four rotor is like a hundred grand. Yeah. Just just for the motor itself. I think I'd do a whole other car. Then you have to find another clean chassis and everything. And then rebuild else. everything. And FDs are going for crazy money. They're Even going up. The FDs. They're getting up there in price. If you have an FD that's not that expensive, hit, hit me up because I want to buy one. 125K. Think on it, let me know. But Gonna have to like let the boys in the comments. That'd be like selling a kid. Comment, sell it. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh. Dude, West Coast Exotics is a dangerous place, boys. It used to be me just coming here and seeing stuff and buying things on impulse, and now it's me coming here and my stuff's trying to get sold from me. That's a decent offer. It's a great offer. That's the best offer I've ever had on the car. I don't, mm, I'll have to sit on it, but I don't think I can do it. Tell them, 150, let's talk. 150 grand. 150. Let's talk 150. I'll tell them 150. I don't know. I, I don't know. You I'm, seem pretty firm at um, 25. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't. This thing's like honestly. It's so sick. This thing's a forever car, I think. All right, we just left West Coast Exotics and now we're at Temecula Motorsports because, boys, we've been talking about the Razors, the side by sides, the Can Ams. Let's just go browse some inventory and kind of just, uh, let's just look. Let's impulse look at some razors. Buy, impulse buy. Impulse, impulse buy like slash look. Them. And they have some pit bikes, let's just browse. This is the one I wanted online and they still have it. This would be the Pro XP Ultimate and the color is like the, the black with like the navy blue. Look at the LCAs and the color. Danny, what do you think? <laughs> How do you open the door? I don't know. I don't even know how to open it. Wait, wait, wait. Is it open up this way? Your suicide doors. Yeah, I think it is actually. Take a seat, tell me how she feels, Dan. Go, go let me know. Oh, it's actually really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, these actually have like their newer seat design, so they're way more comfortable and the seat belts are retractable, which they're normally not. Uh, it's usually a harness, huh? Yeah, it's normally a harness. This is like, this is a new one, dy this dynamic the suspension. One? This is the one. This is like the one, this is the exact one that I want. Beep, beep. This is it. This is it, right here. All right, let's take it home. Ah, should we give up on the M3? I think we do. I think after seeing it, I'm, I'm, oh, and then you got the one in the royal blue with the, the Fosgate package. Dude, I don't know which one I like more. This one doesn't have the stereo upgrade, and this one does. Your boy's gotta be jamming the music when we're tearing it up. Harnesses, though. Huh? Harnesses are probably a good idea, aren't they? Well, this has the retractable harness, too. This is another XP. Well, what are we waiting for? I think I'm sold. I just had to see it. 
Are you serious? No, I'm so. Are you serious? I'm so serious. This exact one. This one or this one? I don't know which one I like more because I know we can upgrade the speakers. We can add on all the extra speakers, but we need the speakers. We all know my favorite color. Blue. So this is another one that I was told is like another one to look at. The Maverick Double R. I don't know if any of you guys in the comments know more about side-by-sides than me, which is probably almost everyone. Give us some feedback. This one looks pretty sweet though. Okay, uh, I just did something. Uh, you guys aren't gonna know what it is, but we um, are doing the paperwork right now for something that is in camera view right now. You don't know which one it is, but I just bought something in this camera frame right now, but you're not gonna know what it is. Probably a few more days so we can come pick it up. But I just impulse bought something. It's all gonna be worth it. You guys will see the great master plan in a few more days, I promise. I tried to say I wasn't an impulse buyer anymore and Danny sucked me in. Danny sold me. Sucked. You won't know what it is, but I'm excited. Why would you put that on me? I didn't do nothing. It's all I you. I did nothing. It's all, Danny saw it and was like, ooh, look at this. And I was oh. like, uh-oh, do we need that? Do I even know what you got? No. Oh, I, I, I told them I'm not telling them, but I said I showed them the view and I was like, it's something in this view. Oh, okay. That's all they know. It's a boat! <laughs> there were no boats, so it wasn't a boat. But it could be a boat. Maybe there was a boat in the back, you just didn't see it. I don't know. Also, it's right in the area is our friends at Sheepy Race. They also just moved into another ridiculously sized warehouse. I don't know where we're supposed to go in to get inside, but they have a new crib now. Wow, that's a big crib. Let's find a parking spot. Wow, this place is still under construction, but for those who saw the videos where we did the 458 tune there, we've gotten the C8 there. For those who have seen those videos, you know what their old place used to look look like, and now you know what the new place looks like. Absolutely ridiculous. It's really cool to see friends leveling up and doing bigger and better things. This is one of the craziest places I've ever seen for like a service center or a build center for cars. Absolutely nuts. Alex is the type of guy to invite you to a shop, tell him you're gonna be there. He says, yeah, come through, then you get here, and no one can find him for 10 minutes, and then you finally find out that he's here and he's doing something in another office. We've been looking for Alex for 10 minutes, no one can find him because this place is so big, but we're just gonna hop on a quick little podcast, because talk is sheep, and um, Danny's gonna be our host today. Hello, Alex, are you there? <laughs> Danny just found the best photo on this whole entire wall. This wall is really nice. Minus this part. <laughs> <laughs> nice! But Alex loves me so much he puts me eye level next to this chick. Damn! He really values me. Yeah. That's adorable. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. I'll put a photo of you in my office next. Last time I checked, Alex makes you wait 15 minutes before you see me. Should I just go knock on this door? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna knock on the door, we'll see what happens. TJ's here, I'm gonna get to him, but I'll, I'll touch bases with you, uh, a little later. No, you're fine, brother. I'll hit you up later. We have to come back. All right, we'll, we'll come back. That's our business meeting. You locked yourself in this room. I had five different people looking for you. They're like, always oh, in the RA, always oh, in the kids' room, always oh, upstairs. This is my pleasure. friend Danny. Miley, pleasure to meet you. So we're getting there. It looks great. Well, right. it looks fantastic. It's empty. Hey, I got a gift for you. Because I'm always stealing clothes from you. Hey, you'll never wear it, but there you go, baby. I actually will wear this. Look, I got you the black one, because I know all you wear is black. More money, more carbs. That's... What do you think about this? What I think is fantastic. You put me eye level for everyone to this... You're just like, that's the name? Talk this is the podcast. best podcast name ever. <laughs> it so, is the best podcast name I've ever heard. You know, like, when we do the vlogs, I've told you many times, it's like, I kind of feel stupid talking about cars all the time, and people want to, like, know more about what we, you know... Yeah. I'm like... What better thing than to do this and like when you drop in, do a podcast, Dude, talk and have it. You posted on Instagram, I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's cool, right? you have the coolest like logo ever, and is that like 3D printed and then mm -hmm. sanded and painted? I think yeah, it's you know sick. What? This company that designed all this is right down the street. Uh 60 grit, they're fucking dope. If you ever need some crazy shit, you gotta look. That place is still under construction, but it's really cool to see how much progress they've made, and I can't wait to come back in another month or so when we drop off a certain a certain car and uh, we'll get the update on how it looks. I mean, I need to smash them in and out because it's very superior to Whataburger. That being said, I want to show something to all my boys out there. And all my Dogecoin boys, I've been a holder in Doge for some time now. I went in with a thousand dollars. I'm only down like 60 bucks, but I'm gonna sell right now and I don't want to disappoint the boys. I've been a strong holder. I think it's gonna dip. I think it's gonna dip big and I'm gonna buy at the dip. So I'm about to sell all my doge right now, boys. 
But I'm I'm gonna come back. But not right now. Goodbye, Doge. It was nice knowing you. I'll meet you again one day. No disrespect to Arby's, but who eats there? I've never eaten anything from there. I don't know anyone, whoever's like, oh yeah. You wanna go grab some Arby's right now? Just saying. Not even 125K could make me say goodbye to this car, boys. 125K? We won't talk about that. Hey, we she, about she's that. just, she, I drive her, baby, all right? Not even 125K could make me say goodbye. Or can it? Or can or it? Or can it? And it could be you. I, I don't know yet. We got a fire truck behind us and we're in the FD, so we naturally are having fire come out the back. And I was like, Dan, they're gonna they're gonna pull over and try and put us out. One of the guys was Woo! <laughs> One of those guys is filming us as we went by. I think they like it. <laughs> or someone in yesterday's video said that ever since we got Hilo, Kona looks sad and depressed because he gets no love. Let me reassure you guys, this guy is my favorite. If I had to, well, I don't want to say that, but if I had to pick one of them, Kona is my baby boy. <laughs> this guy literally means the world to me. They all mean the world to me, but he's, he's, this is my goldie boy. This guy will follow me off a cliff. If I told him to jump off a cliff, he would do it because he's like, I have to do what TJ says. I love him to death. He gets a lot of love. Go get it, bud. Look at him go. Look at, look at him retrieve. <laughs> Like, look how happy this dog is. Watch, he like gets super about it. Okay. 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 Go. Since Danny has been back from China, I don't think we have seen his car. So Danny's gonna give us a car check. I know there's gonna be a lot of Miata lovers out there. So this section of the video is dedicated to you guys. Danny, give us a car check. Car check. Uh, okay, it's a 1991 Miat. Used to be a 1.6 liter, like all 91s. Then I swapped in a 1.8 liter from a Japanese Miata. It's a slightly different motor. It's like kind of, it's similar to the engine that was in the Mazda Speed Miatas. And it's called a BP5A. You'll see my Miata looks a little different. You can kind of see through and see the tires and wheels and all that. Danny crashes into a K rail and then had to tube the front end at KL Fab. That was like a few months ago. Shot. No, that was that was that was <laughs> a few months ago. ago. That was like over a year ago. Yeah, yeah, that was that was like three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I decided to send it into a guardrail. You know, probably 30, 35 miles an hour. That was fun. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, it's it's turbo swapped. It's pretty much just like mix, mix match parts, um, cast manifold, all that good stuff. T25 turbo, makes like 220 wheel, which is fast in a Miat. Yeah, it's not bad. It's it's a fun car. It's nothing like crazy. How much do these weigh? 2,200 pounds. That's pretty quick. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really fun car. I wrapped it. I need to rewrap it because the wrap's going bad. It's been like three four years and. Uh, yeah, there's other cool things. Don't it, you have like a cool um, tail light setup? Uh, yeah, I mean it's high. There's but they're not stock. They're not stock. This is a, it's, this is a garage very finish panel. You probably know that from maybe RX-7 stuff? I don't know. Mm, um, who is garage it? Garage very is like a, a Japanese, a very like sought after Japanese company. But the lights are from like a like knockoff company. Um, I, they're, they're tight. They're better than the others. Like stock panels. You're gonna drive with the top down? You don't wanna, whoa, convert. Only way to do it, brother. You gotta, you gotta hawk it? Yeah, well, I do, cause you can see that the, this is the weld, a welded in roll bar, but kill them. And uh, it's fitted like so crazy that yeah, it gets stuck. It gets you gotta stuck. kinda throw it back. It's not perfect. Yeah. Dang. I got my most important part, gym bag. Teach and I have gym bag. TJ and I have been lifting lately. TJ over here is getting giant again. You might have noticed, uh, you know, starting of uh, COVID, TJ got small on us. <laughs> so did I. And we're getting back. <laughs> I told them about our new journey in the gym. Or I told them like last week that we're getting back in. I told them about the weight gainer and that's why I have that water bottle now because I'm staying on it. Can we, can I fix your weight gainer? They sent it in the mail wrong. <laughs> can I fix yours? Yeah, you want to go inside yeah, and yeah, fix yeah. it? Yeah, let's, you're right. They, they did, they did screw up. Let's go fix that. So yeah, for everyone out there that, uh, you know, struggles gaining weight, just like your boy and I, they sell this product right here. It's called Serious Mass, but what's actually wrong about it is it's actually not adding any mass to you. They send it wrong. I hate it. Every time I gotta fix it. They always have a typo, huh? Yeah, every, if you really want like the gains they're, they're going to give you, you do this one quick install 
slash mod. A quick mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It only takes like 30 seconds of yeah. your time. All right. And sometimes you have to do the mod once or twice, but it works after one install. Serious ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina just got home and as I showed you guys, I think I think I showed you guys. I've been drinking like this this water bottle. What's so funny? You're, you're obsessed with that water bottle. This water bottle makes me feel really healthy. And I got one first. I started to drink this every day. It's a half gallon and it's really cheesy and it has like timestamps on the back of it. Uh, it's really cheesy. And I know there's a Trevor Wallace video about it. And I, I know, I understand. It's kind of silly, but man, I'm staying on my water. I feel so much better. So much that I was like, Sprinty, you, you need one as well. So I just bought her one off of Amazon. No, no, I had this one first and then you got that one. Don't let her, literally, oh. that's, I, you guys believe? I still have the packaging that's in the trash can. Okay, so take a guess. Oh, this just came today. Take a guess. How much do you think the offer was to the RX-7? The RX-7. The white one with the blue wheels. Okay, you're not gonna sell it, right? The you? rotary. Are you gonna sell it? I'm not gonna tell you anything. Don't all, I'm at, all I'm telling you is guess how much okay. the offer was for. Okay, let, me, let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't even know if you would know like what is like, like a- Like 120? Wow, that was really close. 100? That was really close. Really? That was really close. It was 125 grand. 125? That's how much, that's how much the offer Damn, was. Damn, look at me go! That, that's, you, that was impressively close. Can't do it. Come on, that's your prized possession. Besides me. And Kona. <laughs> nah, I, I don't think I can. I really thought about it though. Is it I, here? No, yeah, it's here. It's here. Wait, wow. I was like, but for 150 though? <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, you could build another one. That's that, that was my thing. It's like if I did that, I could building another one completely different than that one. With a three rotor or a four rotor, just those motors alone cost like a hundred grand. So like, I I don't know. It was cool. Could have taken. Could have left it there today. So you said no. I said no. You said no. I said no. Well, so is the offer still on the table? What if you change your mind? It's. I told him I get emails all the time. You do. I get emails all the time about like the Supra and the RX-7. 125 grand wouldn't even take the car. So for everyone who's always emailing me, you can't do better than that. Sorry, dude. Who off, do you know who offered you the money for it? I don't. No, I don't. Ooh. It was a client of theirs that is a repeat client who's like, I have cash in hand. This is what I'm willing to pay. Ooh. And I said, no can do. I said, no thanks. But wait, um, when does the new toy come? So, okay. So before, okay. You, before you say anything, all I showed them was that I haven't even seen it. Okay, so we, sh we, we looked at the Razor and they know that I was looking at that and we want to buy one of those. Okay. But we didn't buy that, but I showed them, I did tell them that I bought something today. I didn't tell them what it was. I know what it is. But I showed like the showroom floor and it, I, was, I like showed everything and I was like, okay, I bought something in this showroom and you could see it right now on camera. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. So. Is it in the garage? No, no, I meant like, no, I'm gonna go get it like later. And I'm gonna get it in a few oh. days or something. But I showed them so they can guess. But they know that we got something, they don't know what it is, but it's gonna be really cool. I'm, I'm pumped. When does it come? Well, it's there, we just gotta go pick it up. I'm going I didn't to, have the truck. I'm gonna use it first. Or a, a trailer to take it home. Oh, so, true. Oh, true. You could yes. strap it on the RX-7. I could have strapped the trailer onto the RX-7, yeah. Mm, probably not, I meant what you got. Yeah, I would need a trailer for that. Oh, maybe you would. Yeah. Oh. Or would I? Or I don't know. I don't. I don't know either. <laughs> our realtor who helped us buy this house and sell our old one just gave us like our closing gift. Very very late on the closing gift, but nonetheless she gave us like a gift basket and all these things, and in that was a gift card to one of our most favorite restaurants. So me and Spring are going on a little date tonight. She's gonna take us in the new whip, and you guys can just adore the starry headliner because I've absolutely fallen in love with it. But about doing it to this car. I just don't know if I want to give this car another potential thing to have go wrong with it because of our last couple months of, of bad luck. But hey, update on this car. We can't tune this car and make big power on the dyno until we do a thousand miles on the new motor. We're almost there. We've done nearly 700 miles. So I'm almost there. This thing will soon make big power. Don't talk about it. You look beautiful. Aww. You look super pretty. You look super handsome. It's because I'm wearing the mocha sweatshirt today. Yeah, why am I why am I more attracted to you? It must be that sweatshirt. You hear that, boys? You, bo <laughs> you boys hear that? You boys, the stocks just went up with the mocha sweatshirt. The you, stocks you, just went up. You're trying to you're trying to get that girl. I just, 
Get the mocha sweatshirt. Invite us to your wedding when it works. I am also matching Sabrina. That's why I will put this on too. She's wearing the, the tans and the browns and I'm wearing the tans and the browns. We're a little neutral today. Sabrina just told me something that <laughs> she should have told me earlier. I, like This is so exciting. I'm super excited to show you guys this. The reason why she's showing me, if you guys don't know, Sabrina runs and works on Hunt and Company and a lot of stuff with me. We, we work together, we live together, we sleep We're, together, we shit together. <laughs> we do a lot of shit. Whoa, whoa, we do not shit she, together. She, she, Sometimes. She, she's my best friend, she's a rock star, and she just showed me something that I saw when it was designed, but this is my first time seeing it. Shout out to Sabrina and Alicia because they're the ones who are getting this stuff done. Okay, I'm done gassing, I'm done gassing her up. Just stop, I'm sweating. These are the new air fresheners. Can we just... Posters. Take a minute and look at how hype this is. This is something that like the Hunt Company brand really tries to stand for and that it's like the quality that we put through everything is always like the highest as we physically know how to make it. This is just a single air freshener. We used to sell them in just plastic bags. And I quit one, the rose design, you guys loved it. Super, super clean, super cool. Love this design. But just the bags, I'm just hyping the bags up right now with the extra details on top, like logoed paper bags for an air freshener. It's something that I think is so cool and that if you guys ever become a customer of Hunt Company, you see this the detail that we try to put in everything. It's just awesome, it's whip so one, cool. Whip one of those babies out and hang her up. I'm, I'm I don't flying. even know if I want to open it yet. Come on, we have a million of them. Well. These aren't on the site yet, guys. Uh, I meant to say that. The air fresheners, we're about to add a bunch more stuff to the site. So if you've been to the site, if because you're trying to take home Miley 2.0, you'll notice that pretty much all the t-shirts are sold out. All of, most of the sweatshirts are sold out, except the, 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 the mochas. We're dropping things in waves. We are about to drop a bunch more things, which we haven't told you guys yet, and we're restocking all those t-shirts, all that stuff. So we're about to drop a million jet tags, a million air fresheners, a bunch of smaller priced items. So if we've had a few people in the comments, I've got a bunch of DMs and emails that he goes, oh, is there anything new that's gonna be coming out that's a little bit lower priced if it can't afford to spend money on a, on the t-shirts and the sweatshirts? We're, we're trying to take care of everyone out there. So a bunch of the smaller items are coming out, which get you entries toward the car. I wanted to show you guys this. It's gonna be added uh, later this week, so keep your eyes peeled or just follow my Instagram, follow the Hunt Company's Instagram, follow Sprint's Instagram, or just simply on the vlogs and you'll be notified. Well, there's an opening from right here. <coughs> yeah, jeez. Oh, that was not smart. It smells great. Ah, these are so cute. This one's black. Freeze. That is, that is great. I love that. Sheesh! 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 She hates when I do that noise. Are you talking about a car or me? Damn! <laughs> Damn! You just never know these days. Damn, she, she's right though. <laughs> I, wow, I played myself. You played yourself. Dang. Is this what it was? What? No, I was talking about you. I was talking about you. Man, I can't make those jokes anymore. Uh, that's so sad that you actually would think that. You were joking, right? You were, you were joking. I was kidding. Maybe. Was I? Sheesh. Sheesh, Sabrina, get out the way. Sheesh. Damn. I can't really film in this restaurant because the music's too loud, but I got some steak fight. And Serena got a quesadilla. So Here I am just laying down in my car while TJ drives me. And I can't help but just, oh, it looks so cool on the camera. It looks so much Dude, cooler in real life. It looks insane. It looks so insane. You know, just looking up at the stars, just me enjoying the stars, and it ain't even dark out yet. Just me vibing to some pink stars. Just some pink stars. Let me, let me, let me, let me change it up for you guys, see what else we got for you tonight. Just give me a sec, gotta learn how to. Use this remote here. Let's get some yellow stars up in here. Oh, yes, beautiful. This looks real. Oh, it's turning green. How about some uh, some, some red? Mm, the red kind of looks pink. We'll leave it like that. Something I tried to teach Sabrina 
is, and I'll admit it's a little difficult, is when you park in this garage, <laughs> you can't just go straight in because the garage to, well, you can. You want me to rack one of these mirrors off one day? What I'm trying to say is, is when you back in, the beer is a great example. See all the walls right here, but the cars are here? You have to back in, cut, and like line yourself up. So that way, when the garage doors are closed, all the cars are evenly spaced, except that one's not, that's a bad example. But there's, there, all I'm saying is, I forgot my whole point. Don't try and film me. All I'm saying is. All you're saying is, Sabrina does not have to work now. I had to park it to show her that you can park these cars in here and have tons of door space. You just have to learn how to do it. And she hasn't taken the time to figure it out yet. And she just makes fun of me and mocks me, which is what she's doing right now. <laughs> so let this be a lesson. Sabrina, please try and figure it out. Thank you. That's all we have for today's TED Talk. Okay, show them in the next video. I'll park it correct. I feel like Sabrina's gonna try to get away with not finishing the rest of the water for today. So let's go force her to finish this. Excuse me, miss. Did you hear what I was about? Did you hear what I was saying? Um, I was just on my way out to get it. Oh, were you? I'm gonna drink this all before bed. I bet you won't drink that before bed. I'm almost done. You have a ways to go, miss. You better start sucking. <laughs> some of you guys are realizing that if you say it to the end of the video, you get some pillow talk. I've seen some of you guys call it that in the comment section. I just want to say a shout out to um, yesterday's video or two days ago video. Someone said that I watched to the end and I saw TJ say, hey, this is your reminder to get to the gym, do something, get up, be active, try and go get healthy. And he's like, I'm getting up, said something like that. I'm gonna show it on screen. So shout out to you. I pinned your comment because I thought it was awesome and it made me made me smile a little bit. So I hope, hopefully that touched a few people out there. I don't know how long this video was, but I saw in a lot of the comments you guys, which I, I read almost every single comment. I'm always trying to stay up to date with what everyone's saying. I saw that you guys like the longer videos and you guys are enjoying the like less cut up more just like raw dialogue so I try to make that video a little more like that so if you liked it let me know down below leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up do something that tells me that you enjoyed it I am super tired we have a lot of things coming up next week that I'm excited to share with you guys the Lambo wheels just got finished today from Atri the BRZ wheels just got finished today both those are ready to get picked up I'm excited to show you guys what they look like and I'll see you guys very very soon peace out and keep Moving forward.